Saturday's Guardian now, uh, with the US giving its best effort to convince us what comes out of its labs are now safe. Good luck with that, Anthony. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nothing to see here? <laughs> no, not at all. Um, so this story is um, centred around uh, a US um, declaration that lab-grown meat is, is safe to eat. Yay. It's, it's called cultivated meat. And there's a, a company called um, Upside Foods who've done a chicken sandwich. Yeah. Um, and you know, all of the, basically all of the, the meat is, is grown from cells that have been taken from chicken, but obviously they're not part of an animal. So um, just thinking about the um, environmental impact, uh, there's, there's obviously you don't have all of the, the land usage and the water usage and, you know, the, the CO2 aspect of it. And it does it raises an interesting question for me because I kind of think, well, if it's been grown from cells and no animals suffered and mm. environmental impact, can you eat that chicken and still call yourself a vegan? Potentially. And that's what I'm thinking, yeah. It's, if it's not lived, it's not done. Well, yeah, I think, you know, vegans are known for their laissez-faire attitude, so I think they'll be fine with it. Um, <laughs> that's one of my deadpan jokes. Um, my concern, Mark, is that we'll all be forced to swallow Bill Gates' synthetic meat. This is where this is going. Gates wants to make meat synthetic. The average person's going to be banned from eating meat. As we know, there'll be meat taxes. They want us to eat the bugs and be happy. And then it'll be not even bugs, but it'll be synthetic meat. And that's where this is all going. We don't even know if it's safe. What, what happens to the farmers? I've got so many questions, but I won't eat it unless... But will we even know if we're eating it? Will it be like horse meat? Will we be eating it by accident? Yeah, but, but meat's yeah. already synthetic. I mean, you remember the scandal a few years ago about the meatballs and when they did DNA analysis on it, they found that there was parts of this meatball that had been all over Europe. This is when we still had free mm. movement of goods, so you could get a bit of spleen from over here and a bit of an ear from over there and make it all so into a delicious you, confection. But you've got you that. welcome Bill Gates' synthetic meat. What's this got to do with Bill Gates? Well, he's, he's, he's proposed this. He's one of the well, no, biggest I mean, this people. Is a, people this are, is a global scientific movement. Yeah, he's, Bill Gates. He, he's become well known for promoting this new synthetic meat. I know, but I do, I'm sorry, I can't accept the Bill Gates as the boogeyman thing. It's but, the, but he is, he is moving no, towards well, synthetic meat. He's an investor in, in alternative meats, fake meat. Yeah, but there's... I didn't say it was a boogeyman. I said he's a new synthetic meat. It's a multi-billion... He's a boogeyman. It's a multi Multi-billion pound industry that is being um, kind of invested in all over the globe by lots of different companies. That's like saying there's only one company that's that's you know involved in mobile phone technology. Bill Gates is sure he's a player and he's got a lot of money, but um, you know there's lots of companies that are doing this uh, this kind of stuff. So. I mean, would you eat a lab-grown steak, Anthony? Do you know what? I mean, the, the reality is, is if I was given um, uh, meat that, that, that was not grown organically, but, the, you know, but, you know... Grass-fed so if or I, Yeah, or grass-fed, or if I, ate, if I was shown a video of how the chicken had lived before being given a chicken sandwich, I might view that differently. So side-by-side, side, lab-grown, or, you know, uh, a chicken that's lived in a darkened box, you know, with the you know, clawed foot of its cousin on its head because there's no room to move. Yeah. There's not much in it. That's a really, really interesting and fair point.